Hi guys, I'm sure like me you have many troubles to set up your equatorial mount tripod facing north. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you my secret weapons. A stick and some string and a compass. So what's the issue? Well, if you've taken the trouble to basically set your mount up facing north, you then need to go through the polar alignment process. So you take these off and you would line up with the Polaris star to get magnetic north. Now you use these bolts to adjust the azimuth, the, the turn on this way. But the problem is if you haven't got the mount lined up right north, you end up like this, where even with the maximum amount of um, correction, I still can't get it in the right position. That means I've got to pick the whole mount up and move it around, destroying any alignment and leveling that I've already done. So the first thing to note is that on a tripod from Skywatcher or Celestron, you've got two holes for the little pin that holds the mount in place. There's one at the back between the two legs and another one at the front which lines up with just one leg. And on a lot of Skywatcher mounts they even have the N on the front to suggest that that's the one that goes north. Just undo it if it's not in the right hole and put it in the front. It's always the best place to have it. So I want to show you the things that I'm going to use to help me out. And the first is a compass. Um, yeah, it's not a bad compass actually. It folds away. It's got a little sight here which allows me to look down inside. You probably can't see it in there. Um, and actually see the uh, the degrees on the dial. It's got a movable bezel on the top and a little level as well. And quite importantly, a sighting screen as well. Any compass will do, but uh, that's a pretty good one. Next is a stick. Um, I've just got a garden cane here. Nothing special about it, as long as it's a reasonable length. In this case, it's about uh, two feet long. And the last piece of the puzzle is a piece of string. Now I guess you could probably use nylon string to stop it worrying about stretching, but the important thing is that it's long enough to go between the tripod legs and that you're able to tie some knots in it. So I've got a knot in the middle and as I move it down I've got two knots that should <laughs> pretty much line up so that basically I end up with them at the same distance from the center point as I go along. I'll show you how to use those now. So I've put the compass on the ground and I'm basically going to line it up um, so that it's pointing north. And then take the stick and line it up in the same way, going through the axis of the compass like so. And a good way to check it with a compass like this is to pick the compass up and come to the back line it up like so okay and then the sighting line on the compass I can run along and make sure that it lines up with the stick so the stick is now facing north south say. once we've done that we can bring our tripod to the right point and place it carefully in front of the stick what I want to do here is to make sure that the middle of the stick is in line with the middle of the front um, of the tripod leg. So now we've got the stick in the right position, what we can do is take our piece of string and we basically just need to hold it by the, the knots which we know are equal distance away from the one in the centre and just choose where we're going to go. So I think I've got that right at the bottom down there is those two. So I just pull it tight and, and feel, feeling by hand I know it's roughly in the middle. I can now pick that up and drop it down so the centre knot is over the line. And now I know that it's equidistant about from that side to there to that side to there. So it must be pointing pretty much north.